today we're going to show you how we turned our cluttered pile of 3D printed armor into this awesome and efficient DIY armor stand. All you're going to need is about 50 bucks and a trip to Lowe's or wherever you're going to get your PVC pipe. Aside from this five-way piece here that we designed and 3D printed, you'll just need to get these tees, elbows, caps, and couplings, along with a 5-foot and a 10-foot pipe. Starting with the 5 foot pipe, we'll be marking it for two 20 inch sections to cut. You can use whatever you have to cut the PVC with, whatever saws or snips will work just fine. Once those are cut, we'll move on to the 10 foot pipe and you'll need to cut two 16 inch pieces. One 8.5 inch piece. Four 6 inch pieces. and then two two and a half inch pieces. And finally, eight four inch pieces. Maybe just some. You should have about a 19 inch piece left over and just set that aside for now. Once all your pieces are cut, we like to lay them all out where they will be put together. We use the tees here for the feet. Then these 16 inch pieces will be for the lower leg. They connect into a coupling up to those 20 inch upper leg pieces, which then connects into the 90, and then into a 4 inch piece that connects into the custom 5 way piece that we've printed. Moving up from there, the next 20 inch piece will connect from the five way up to the four way at the shoulders. And then that neck piece is the eight and a half inch. To start the arms, you'll bring another four inch piece into one of the elbows and then into another four inch and into another elbow, which connects to a six inch piece and into another elbow to another six inch piece into another elbow until finally two and a half inch piece and a cap. Obviously just repeat that exact same process for the other arm. Now grab that 19 inch piece from before and we'll just cut it into rough fourths. Which will then connect into the tees at the feet just to give it more stability. And now we'll put it all together just to visualize it. The only pieces that will need to be glued are the feet and the hips. All of these leg pieces just slide together. If you glued them, it would make getting the armor on there basically impossible. The hip pieces here will all need to be glued together, and if you can't print our 3D custom piece, then a regular T should work. We just like having these two pieces on the front and back to help hold the waist armor and belts, and to prevent some wobbly armor. Then these pieces for the torso will just slide in, and same goes for the shoulders and arms. And this right here is why the hips get glued. Oh, and we use this custom piece to help stabilize the helmet too. The link to that should also be in the description, but if you can't do that, another T or another pipe should work just fine. Now let's actually assemble it. Now you're gonna need to make a stand of some sorts just to weigh it down and prevent it from tipping. It doesn't have to be fancy, just some wood and some screws. But anyway, now we'll actually glue together all the pieces that need it. Why are you putting on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's we'll restart that one. Yeah, you better. You might need to cut that part out. Or we could leave it in, it's funny. Make a little joke. Make sure you put See, the glue on the. Many people pack it off. <laughs> Make sure you put the glue on the inside of this part. <laughs> yeah. No, I just see how many people pack it off. Wait a minute, that and if you do screw it up, it's no big deal. Just wipe it off. Now we just screw the feet into that stand that we made. Once the feet and hips are glued together, the rest just slides in. We did do a little bit of aesthetic work to our stand, but all that really matters is that it's sturdy and it could weigh down the armor set. We start with the lower half of the legs into the feet, which is now hidden under the sand, but they are there. 
And now this whole part of the process is obviously going to differ for whatever suit of armor you're displaying, but this is how we got our armor set onto here. First we get our calf and knee armor onto that lower leg that's sticking out. Then we slide our upper leg pieces into the thigh armor and connect them to the lower leg. We do have straps that hold our armor together while we're wearing them, and they were great to hold it together on the stand as well, but if you don't have that, really anything can work, tape or whatever you can do. Then we just balance our waist armor right onto the hips and then slide the torso piece of the stand into the hip piece. If you do the belt or something that's one solid piece, I would put that on now. And then the chest armor just goes right on top of those shoulders. Then we take our arm pieces that already have the shoulder armor on them and just slide it into the shoulder. Next, we slide on our elbow pads and the wrist armor onto the arms. The belt that we have can be taken apart, so it can be put on now. And finally, we throw our headstand on there and place that helmet on top. After some straightening up, here's your finished product. I hope this gives you a cheap and sturdy way to keep your armor organized and looking good. If you like this, you should check out some of our other videos of printer upgrades and painting tutorials. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our full breakdown of the next suit of armor we're making.